Hello YouTube friends, Dr. Teresa here again. I am following up on another question that was asked by Adam3 and he wanted to know if it was possible to separate the babies and raise them in a separate tank. That's a really great question. I first want to say one of the advantages or attractions to dwarf seahorses is that you can raise them in the same tank as their parents and they eat exactly the same food. So that is something that's nice. But as far as raising the babies in a separate tank, you absolutely can do that. But I just ask you to think about what are your goals and will that fit your lifestyle? So what I'm thinking about is if you put the babies in a smaller tank, one advantage is you could really increase the density of the brine shrimp, which theoretically should increase the baby's survival rate. Those are, babies are pretty hungry and they devour a lot of food in those early weeks. But if your goal is not to have or raise as many babies as possible to survive to adulthood, you might want to think of the advantages and disadvantages to separating the babies. I never separate the babies. Right now, this is a hobby for me and I want to enjoy it. And I feel like if I separate the babies, I would have to have another tank, which is one more thing to care for. I would also have to do more water changes on that smaller tank because although you'll be able to concentrate that brine shrimp in the tank, babies eat a lot because they're growing and they have a very high waste load. And so that means that the water quality is going to fluctuate very quickly and you'll have to do at least one maybe even two water changes a day of maybe 50 percent or more so that the toxins don't build up more quickly than they are produced another reason i don't raise babies separately is because i feel like if i'm trying to raise as many babies as possible it's going to take away my focus from just enjoying the seahorses. I'm not trying to raise babies because I'm trying to sell them or I wanna have as many seahorses as possible. And doing those other things, having a separate tank with more dense feedings, which require more water changes, would use up a lot more of my time and would prevent me from enjoying all of the seahorses as a whole. Also, weighing the differences between the ability to increase the density of the food in a smaller aquarium against what the increased survivability rate is, is kind of uncertain. Because as I mentioned, you're constantly fighting a battle of trying to keep that toxic level down low enough so the babies don't succumb to it. So really, my response is do what's best for you. If you have the time and your goal is to raise as many babies as possible, it might be worth it to you to keep a separate tank or two of just the babies, a smaller tank. For me, it is not worth it. I do work a full-time job and I find that the main tank, which houses both the babies and the adults together, is ideal for me right now. I hope you found this useful. If you enjoyed or appreciated the information, giving a thumbs up is very helpful. And if you have other ideas or questions, please reach out. I love following up with more videos. Thanks for watching and take care.